Hello everyone. In our previous video, we have learned about work. Work is said to be done only when the force applied on a body makes the body move. And how do we measure work? The amount of work done is measured by using the formula force multiplied by displacement. If the displacement is in a direction other than the direction of force, then how do we measure the amount of work done? There are two ways, either by taking the component of displacement in the direction of force or by taking the component of force in the direction of displacement. Here, we will consider the angle between the displacement and the direction of force, which is theta. So, we get F multiplied by S multiplied by cos theta. We have also seen what are the units of work. SI unit of work is joule and CGS unit of work is R. We have also seen the relationship between these two. 1 joule is equal to 10 raised to the power 7 arc. In this video, let us learn another important topic, which is power. So, let's begin. Let us first take an example. There are two coolies, A and B. Coolie A takes one minute to lift a load to the roof of a bus. Coolie B takes two minutes to lift the same load to the roof of the same bus. What about the work done by these two coolies? It will be same because the force and the displacement are same for both of them. So, work done by these two coolies will be same. But what about power? Who spent more power in doing this work? Let us understand what is power. How do we define power? Power can be defined as the rate of doing work. It is a scalar quantity. Power has only magnitude. It has no direction. How do we measure power? If W work is done in time t, then power can be measured as work done divided by time taken. So, P is equal to W by T. Next, let's see which are the factors that affect power spent by a source. First factor is that amount of work done by the source. Second point is that the time taken by the source to do the work. It is also important to note that power is equal to W by T that is work done by time taken but work done is equal to force into displacement. So power can be written as force multiplied by displacement divided by time taken. But what is displacement by time taken? It is nothing but average speed. So power can be written as force multiplied by average speed. That is, P is equal to F multiplied by V. Now we know how to measure power. So, let's go back to the example of two coolies, A and B. Both of them did same amount of work, but in different time. Time taken by coolie A in doing the work is one minute and time taken by coolie B in doing the same work is two minutes. So, who spent more power? Yes, this coolie A. 
because Kohli A did the work in less time. So power spent by Kohli A in doing the work is double the power spent by Kohli B. What are the units of power? SI unit of power is what? And the symbol is W. How do we define 1 watt? We know that power is equal to work done divided by time taken. So 1 watt is equal to 1 joule divided by 1 second. If 1 joule of work is done in 1 second, then the power spent is said to be 1 watt. CGS unit of power is erg per second. So, what is the relationship between SI unit of power and CGS unit of power? 1 watt is equal to 1 joule divided by 1 second. That is equal to 10 to the power 7 erg per second. Next, let us learn another important unit which is horsepower. 1 HP or 1 horsepower is equal to 746 watt. Next, let us understand the difference between work and power. Work done is given by the product of force and the displacement. Power is given by work done divided by time taken. If we observe the formula, work done doesn't depend on time, but power spent depends on time in which work is done. And the last difference is that SI unit of work is joule and SI unit of power is watt. Next, let us learn another important topic, energy. The energy of a body is its ability to do work. It is a scalar quantity. Energy has only magnitude, it has no direction. What is the difference if the work is done on the body and if the work is done by the body? If the work is done on the body, the energy of the body increases. And if the work is done by the body, then the energy of the body decreases. What are the units of energy? SI unit of energy is Joule. And CGS unit of energy is ERG. 1 Joule is equal to 10 to the power 7 erg. We also use some bigger units to measure energy. First one, watt hour. 1 watt hour can be defined as it is the energy spent or work done by a source of power 1 watt in 1 hour. 1 watt hour is equal to 3.6 kilojoules. The next bigger unit is that kilowatt hour. One kilowatt hour is the energy spent or work done by a source of power one kilowatt in one hour. One kilowatt hour is equal to 3.6 megajoules. Here kilo is 10 raised to 3 and mega is 10 raised to 6. Next, let us understand the difference between energy and power. Energy of a body is its capacity to do work. What is power? Power of a source is the rate at which energy is supplied by it. Energy spent 
does not depend on time power depends on the time in which energy is spent si unit of energy is joule and si unit of power is watt so now we know what is work power and energy all these three are scalar quantities work depends on force applied and the displacement power depends on work done and time taken and energy is the capacity or ability to do work thank you